Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Before we jump into today's review, I want to take a moment and talk about something important. I really appreciate the passion and energy that all of you bring to the car audio community. It's great to see how much you care about the brands and products you love. As we look at this specific line of amplifiers in the next couple of videos, I want to make it clear that my goal is to give you my honest opinion based on my own experience. I know some of you have strong feelings for certain brands, and I want to reassure you that what I say is focused only on this one product line. It doesn't reflect my feelings about the people at this company, the brand as a whole, or their other products, which I know many of you love. I encourage everyone to join in on the conversation and share your thoughts down in the comments. But let's keep it respectful and friendly. We all love car audio, and I wanna make sure we keep our community positive and supportive. Thanks for understanding. Now, let's get started. When the sun goes down, you can find me Tearing up that town with the high beams Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Base Dad TV. I'm your host, Jeff Moreland. Today, we're gonna be looking at actually a series of amps over three shows. So we're gonna start with one today, which is the American Bass Godfather 5D. On another show, another episode, we'll look at the Godfather 7D. And on the last show, we'll look at the Godfather 11D. Now, I can't promise you they'll all be in a row, but we'll tackle them over probably the next couple of months or something. You know, I'll have one every other week or something like that. But these are interesting amplifiers. You're probably wondering what's up with a dramatic opening. There's a story behind them, of course. The first one's pretty normal. Nothing really happens with it. It was sent to me new from American Bass. It operated like it was supposed to and made it through the test just fine. The other two are the ones that are a little dramatic and you're gonna see what happened to them as we get into those episodes, but I'm gonna let you know ahead of time, they ended up sending me two amps that were returned to them. One of them didn't work and one of them blew up on the test bench. So make sure that you stay tuned for those episodes. This one did okay. It had a few little quirks that you'll see as you watch the video. These amplifiers meant a lot. And if you've been following me for a while, I know a lot of you haven't, but for those of you that have followed me since basically the beginning, these were the first amplifiers I'd ever gotten from a company. I was so excited. It was really amazing that a company had reached out to me and wanted to work with me. It was kind of a friend of a friend type thing where somebody I knew put me in contact with them and Man, I just couldn't have been happier because I've been working on YouTube for a little while and nothing was surfacing. It, I wasn't sure if, you know, I was doing things right or whatever. So to have this company wanting to deal with me really, you know, pumped up my ego and it quickly deflated as this uh, journey went on with them. One thing that happened is I actually did put this, some of this footage out, but it's, it's completely different, the old review. You know, I, I was new at making videos and wasn't very good. I had put it out and they called me and wanted me to change things about it. They were trying to get me to say that these amps were like Sundown Salt amplifiers, which at the time I'd never had a salt. But, you know, Today, right now, I can tell you, they're definitely not like salt amplifiers. These are not very good amplifiers. And I, I'm glad that I didn't say that. You know, I'm glad I had enough sense not to, not to say that and to push back on them. But this was a prime example of a company trying to influence a review, which isn't cool, but it happens a lot more than you guys ever know. It almost seems a lot like we don't get very honest reviews in car audio. That's one of the reasons why I stopped taking equipment from companies to keep. Other people may be able to do that and not feel obligated, but it was really hard for me to take that stuff and not feel obligated to at least give them, I don't want to say lie because I didn't never lie, but you know, you can be nicer than you probably would have been. Does that make sense? You can be nicer. You want to feel, you want, like I want to be nicer because they did something for me. 
And I think that that's human nature, but I can't speak for everyone else. You know, I'm not calling anybody else out because I know a lot of car audio YouTubers do that. And a lot of YouTubers in general do it. It didn't work for me because I didn't feel like I could say what I wanted to say. So I stopped doing it. You, you feel an obligation just to be nicer to someone when they gave you something. And I don't ever want to feel that way. You know, I, I started doing YouTube to make good, informative videos about products. But anyway, guys, these amplifiers meant a lot to me when I got them. This was a situation where I'm sure everybody's had one in their life where it starts off and you think, wow, man, this is great. And as it develops, you quickly find out that it was more than what you bargained for. So it's taken almost two years for me to be able to put this video, these videos together. I took the amplifiers that were messed up and I did have them fixed and we'll get into what was wrong with them and why they needed to be fixed as the video ends. So guys, hang out, stick around. This is the American Bass Godfather 5D. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Son, did I just hear you say American Bass? Have you stooped to a new low? Are you in here trashing? American companies? Have you lost your mind? Trashing good, hard-working Americans, going to work every day, nine to five, and you in here making home movies about them? I can't believe you, son. I'm thoroughly disappointed in you. Yes, there is a company called American Base. The bad news is all their stuff's made in China. What you mean it's from China? Well, son, I don't even know what to think about that. For once, we agree. It is pretty damn deceptive. China, you know whose fault this is? Your mom's. Cause she left me for a China man. I ain't never been right since. We used to make things here. Used to make subwoofers. We used to make amps. Hardworking Americans did that, son. And your generation sent it all to China. Now people got jobs as doctors and lawyers and all this other stuff. They could be working in warehouses, living the American dream. Yeah, because if anybody knows anything about America, it's definitely you. Now, it smells like an Asian salad in here, son. You need to take a bath, change your underwear, get out, touch the grass, son. Stop living in here on this computer. If you need me, I'm in here watching Jackie Chan. Yeah, I'll be right here waiting. I'm sick of this dude, when's he going home? I'm not talking about you. Test uncertified. 1960 4 ohms, 63% efficiency. 4 ohm dynamic. 2072 at 4 ohms. 2 ohm uncertified test. 3,398 watts at 2 ohms. 77% efficiency. Two ohm dynamic test. 3,907 watts. Two ohms dynamic. One ohm uncertified. 5,506 watts. 71% efficiency. One ohm dynamic test. 6,277 watts. It's got some pretty good dynamic headroom.
Man, that was banging. It sounded really good on the Massive Audio Hippo XL. Shout out Rigo at Massive for sending that to me. I'm gonna take the back off this amplifier. Now remember, this is old footage. That's why it's not as clear as what you normally get from me. This board should look really, really familiar to you. You've seen it a couple of times on my show before. It's the same board that's on the Surge 4K. So I ended up doing a 0.5 test on the Godfather amp and it went into protect, but I did a 0.5 test on the Surge amp and it didn't go into protect. And from what I understand, the reason why is because of the different components that are on the board. So even though the board's the same and they most likely were built in the same build house, and you often hear that amps built in the same build house are the same, these are not the same. They have much different components, different caps, different MOSFETs, different power supplies. So the Godfather does not have as strong a components as the Surge does. Where I normally don't get into this stuff in my reviews because these blue, it kind of forced me down the road to kind of investigate into what's inside these amplifiers and the Godfathers aren't that great. This 5D did do the test, it didn't blow up. I'm not gonna really talk too badly about it. Like I said, we're gonna have two more videos on the other ones and those did have problems. So I hope you come back and watch those. Stay for the half ohm test at the end. I did use a thermal camera. It didn't get too hot or anything. You can see here, watch the half ohm test at the end. Guys, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I should be right at a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate that. Hopefully we'll make it to 2000 subscribers soon. Till next time. When the sun goes down